Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I am Ambassador Chantrell Davis, and Jesus Christ is Lord. Today is February the 5th of 2019. It is 10.13 a.m. Central Standard Time. Bring your minds and your hearts in one accord together with me in prayer, for there is no time, there is no space for Jesus Christ and our Lord and our Holy Spirit is omnipresent, and we can come together in one heart and one mind, no matter what day and no matter what hour this is, for his word is alive, it is effective, it is energizing, and it is always enough. Bring your minds in. Focus on the things scripturally as I pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we are alive for such a time as this. Father God, I thank you that we awake because you sustained us last night. Father, you said it's not in man to know his own ways, Father. So I thank you that as we slept last night, you kept us from our purpose. You hid pride. You sealed our instructions, Father God. And I decree and declare those blueprints, those divine instructions will come forth unhindered and unchecked by any outside force, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you have given us the wisdom from above, Father God. And we rebuke all earthly, sensual, and devilish wisdom right now in the name of Christ Jesus, Father God. We incline our ears to wisdom and apply our heart to the understanding that you give us this day, Father God. And we decree and declare that will come forth to us, Father God unhindered and unchecked by any outside force, Father God, for we know the voice of our Father and the voice of a stranger. We will not follow, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray not only for myself, but all those who fall under the sound of my voice any day and any time. I pray that we be filled with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that we walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, that we be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray also that you will give to us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, that the eyes of our understanding be enlightened and that we will always know the hope of our calling and the riches of the inheritance in Christ Jesus, our Lord, Father God. I decree and declare and prophesy over our ears, eyes, and lips, and heart that we have ears of a disciple, eyes of a disciple, lips of a disciple, and a heart of a disciple. I decree and declare, Father God, the lips of knowledge, Father God, and the tongue of the learned. A grace, Father, a mouth full of salt, seasoned with grace, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we know how to answer every person, Father God. I thank you that we speak right words in due season, and how forcible are these right words, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every mouth that is uttered, muttered, and chanted in any tongue, any language, Father God, against this ministry, against our mind, against our marriage, against your right way, your absolute laws, Father God. In the name of Jesus, our progress, our productivity, Father God, our influence, our destiny in you. I decree and declare null and void, Father God, and I command those words back into the bosom of those who sent them with swift judgment in the name of Christ Jesus. Father God, honor it for your name's sake, for your holy word's sake, Father God. For we thank you that you are faithful and you are just, Father God, for we are the executors of your judgment in this earth, Father God, and we put ourselves in remembrance of that word, and we thank you that you honor your word. You look after it to perform it in the name of Christ Jesus and by the power of the blood. I decree and declare, Father God, the covering of the blood of Jesus and the God with ministry of preach me of what's not an echo, Father God. All those who have subscribed, Father God, and listened to your word in earnestly and truth, all those who listen to this ministry, Father God, and truth to hear your word, Father God. All those who have come for other reasons, Father God, all those who have been sent by others, Father God, I thank you for their uncovering, Father God. I thank you that they will hit the wall of the anointing, Father God. I thank you that they will be turned aside, Father God, for you said those who gathered against us would not be by you and what you would cause them to do is fall for our sake. So I decree and declare all those who have arrayed themselves spiritually and physically in any realm, Father God, against this ministry, against my marriage, against my destiny, against my productivity, Father God, against my influence, Father God, against my destiny in you, I command them to fall in the name of Christ Jesus for my sake, according to your word. You said you would cause them to fall for my sake, and I command them to fall in the name of Christ Jesus and by the power of the blood. I decree and declare, Father God, any person, place, or thing, Father God, in entity, in any realm, Father God, that has become a burden in my life, I decree and declare it is removed. Any person, place, or thing, or entity, in any realm that has become a yoke about my neck, I decree and declare it is destroyed because of your anointing, Father God. I thank you that you contend with those who contend with me. You fight against those who fight against me. You said a righteous thing to grant tribulation to those who trouble me. Trouble my trouble in the name of Christ Jesus. I decree and declare your decrees, Father God. And I thank you that they go forth unhindered and unchecked by the outside force, Father God. In the name of Christ Jesus and by the power of the blood. I thank you for your covering. I thank you that you fill us with your love and we are covered by the blood, Father God. I decree and declare, Father God, not only me, but all those who hearken to your word and hearken to your instructions, Father God. We will be at the right place at the right time before the right people and in the right state of mind, Father God. We will not stumble in the dark as the heathen, Father God. You have ordered our steps, Father God. 
And I decree and declare we will walk them out in perfection, Father God. I decree and declare overridden every time set of the enemy with the set time of the Lord, Father God. For our steps are ordered. I decree and declare your expected end over our day, over our way, over our life, over this ministry, Father God. We commit all that we are and all that we ever will be to you, Father God. I commit my thoughts, ways unto you, and I thank you that my thoughts are established this day, Father God. In the name of Christ Jesus, I thank you for the holy fire that is up on this ministry, Father God, that is dwelling within me. I thank you for the wellspring of wisdom, Father God, the mouth of wisdom, Father God, and out of the tongue of the love, learn, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that I have an unction from the Holy One, and I know all things, Father God, and you have given me a mouth and wisdom that my adversaries can neither gain, say, nor resist. You are true to your word. You are true, Father God. You are faithful and you are just, and I present my body as living sacrifice this day, Father God. I cover all those, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that would hear this word and spirit and the truth, covering them with the blood of Jesus, Father God, including myself, through the full casting out and dispossessing, dispossessing of all darkness, Father God, right down to the molecular structure, Father God, to the full binding up and casting out of every contrary spirit, hiding in their flesh and hiding in layers of their soul. I rebuke and bind up the spirit of fear, doubt, and unbelief, and contention, and strife, and jealousy, and envy, Father God, and offense. And I bind it up in the spirit of rebellion, bind it up, and I cast it out, Father God, and I dismantle them, Father God, bringing them flat, Father God. For I thank you that we tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, Father God. I apply and appropriate the full armor of God, not just to myself, but all those who will hear this word, Father God, perpetually, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that we quench the fiery darts of the enemy. We are victorious in you, for you are all the while effectually at work in us, both the will and do your good pleasure, and you always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. So we move forth in that triumph, Father God, trusting you and trusting you for our expectancy is in you. In the name of Christ Jesus, I seal this prayer, Father God, in the blood and in the matchless and mighty name of Christ Jesus, who is our Lord. And I say amen.